Hello friends, my name is Vasim and I welcome you all to this channel Bank for You. So friends, in this video I will be discussing a straight line arrangement question. There's nothing but a row arrangement with blood relations. So this was the question which was asked in IBPS IRB PO mains 2018 exam. So this is a memory based question which I will be discussing with you. So friends, once you come across the question, try to solve the question by yourself and continue watching the video. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead. So here's the question. Seven members from same family. So these are the seven members from the same family. That is BD, GL, M, Q and V are sitting in a linear row. So linear row would be in this way. Okay. And uh, all those people are facing towards north direction. So we know if somebody is facing north direction, that person will be facing this direction. And this particular person's left is this. This particular person's right is this. Okay. So this is the basic information which is given to us. So we have to assume that uh, the information which is given here is not in the same order. Um, but apart from that, even if it is in the same order, we have to even uh, find out uh, the relationships as well. So let's try to do it friends. Okay. As you can see, the first information here is G sits third from the extreme end. So it is said only third from the extreme end. It is not mentioned whether from the left, left extreme end or right extreme end. So therefore, G is third from the extreme end. So 1, 2, 3. This is the extreme end and this is the extreme end as well. So 1, 2, 3, G can be here. 1, 2, 3, G can be here. There are two possibilities. So 1, 2, 3, G can be here. 1, 2, 3, G can be at this place. The next one is G's mother sits second to the right of G. So G's second right is G's mother. So G is here. We, are, we know all these people are facing towards north direction. G's right is this. Second right would be so 1, 2. So this person is G's mother. Okay. This person is G's mother as well as G is here. G's second right. 1, 2. So this person is G's mother. Okay. This person is G's mother. All right. That's done. The next one is M is an immediate neighbor of G's mother. So M is an immediate neighbor of G's mother. G's mother is here. So the immediate neighbor is only this person, nobody else. So therefore M can be at this particular place. So G's mother is here. So M can be here, M can be here. There are two possibilities once again. So therefore I'm going to put M here and here. Okay. The next one is there are two persons sits between M and B. Between M and B, there's a gap of two persons. So M is here, 1, 2, B can be here. M is here, 1, 2, B can be here. But in this case, M is here. We cannot go this side because there is only one person. We have to go to the left. Okay. M is here, 1, 2, B cannot be here because already G is here. So therefore, M cannot be at this particular place. Right. M cannot be here. Only one possibility that M can be at this particular place. So between M and B, there is a gap of two persons. So M and B, there is a gap of two persons. M is here. We cannot go this side as there is only one person. So if we come this side, 1, 2. So B can be at this particular place. The next one is, so G's wife sits immediate right of B. So B's immediate right is G's wife. So B is here. B's immediate right is this. So this particular person is G's wife. Right. Again, uh, see here, B's immediate right is G's wife. So between M and B, there is a gap of two persons. M is here, 1, 2, B can be here. If I am going to place B here, immediate right of B, G's 5 has to be placed. So but there is no place here to place G's 5. So therefore, M, B cannot be at this particular place. So then, if B is not here, M is here, 1, 2. So B can be here. B's immediate right is this. So here we can able to place G's wife. Right? So this is done. So this is not required anymore. Right. The next one is there is only one person sits between G's wife and D's father. Between G's wife and D's father, there is a gap of only one person. G's wife is here. We cannot go this side. We have to go this side only. G's wife is here. One place. So this person is D's father. I am going to make it as this that so that uh, I can uh, uh, write a little. So that is why this person is D's that. All right. So now. Here, between G's wife and D's father, there is a gap of one person. G's wife is here. One plus D's father can be here. One plus D's father can be here. There are two possibilities. So that is why G's wife and, uh, you know, D's father. There is a gap of only one person. That's done, right? 
The next one is the number of people sitting to the left of D is same as the number of people sitting to the right of G is 5. Okay. So, see here. So, G is right. So, whatever the persons who are going to sit to the right of G is 5, the same number of persons should sit to the left of D. Okay. So, G is 5 is here. To the right of G is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 persons. So, therefore, I can certainly say that there should be, uh, you know, 5 persons to the left of D. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, D can be here. That's done. Here, G is 5 is here. G is 5. To the right of G is 5, 1, 2, 3. There are 3 persons. Okay. So, therefore, to the left of D, there should be a gap of, I mean, there should be 3 persons. So, that is why 1, 2, 3. So, D has to be at this particular place. I hope you understood. So, this is done, right? Okay. Now, the next one is, there are two people sits between Q and L. So, between Q and L, there is a gap of two persons. So, if I place Q or L here, 1, 2, Q or L cannot be here. If I place Q or L here, 1, 2, Q or L cannot be here or any, I mean, there is no, no more possibilities. Again, if I am going to place Q or L here, 1, 2, Q or L cannot be here. So, anyway, we cannot able to place Q or L information in this possibility. So, therefore, this possibility gets eliminated at this particular point of time. Done? Okay. Now, Q or L can be here, 1, 2, Q or L can be here. So, Q or L can be here, 1, 2, Q or L cannot be here. So, therefore, only one possibility, Q or L can be here, Q or L can be here. Okay. Now, G is 5 and D is 5, there is a gap of one person. So, that is also done. So, this is also not required. Okay. The next one is, M is B's grandfather. So, M is B's grandfather. So, M is B's grandfather means, so, M is a male person. So, that is, M is having a son or daughter here. So, that son's or, da or daughter's son or daughter is B here. Okay. So, M is here, one gap, B here. Right. That is done. The next one is, Q sits to the left of L. Q will be sitting to the left of L. We know Q or L can be here, Q or L can be here. If I am going to place L here, to the left of L, Q has to be placed. So, therefore, 1, 2. So, Q can be at this particular place. Right. The next one is, so L's daughter sits immediate right of L. Immediate right of L is L's daughter. So, L's immediate right is this place. So, this person is L's daughter. Okay. She is L, D is L's daughter. The next one is, V is the only son of D. So, V is the only son of D. That is V here. So, only son of D. He is only son of D. V is the only son of D. The next one is B is a male person. So, B is a male person. So, everything is done friends. So, the arrangement is done now. Now, let us quickly uh, draw the family tree here. Okay. Uh, firstly, M is uh, D's father. Okay. M here is, I mean, I'm going to start from here. You can start from anywhere, but then M is D's father. Okay. So, we don't know the gender of D here, but D is the father of, uh, sorry, M is the father of D. So, that is why. M is a male person, okay? But then we don't know the gender of D here. So, this is done. And uh, D, D is L's daughter. See here, if D is L's daughter, D is a female. So, if D is the D is L's daughter, I can certainly say that L is the mother of D. Because M is the father, so therefore, L is the mother. So, they are husband and wife. M and L are husband and wife. And D is their daughter. Okay, that's done. M, L, D is done. M and L is also done. L is G's mother. Okay, L is G's mother. So, that is why G has to be placed here. But then we don't know whether G is a male person or a female person. That is why I am not going to put, I am not, I cannot come to a conclusion now. Right? So, G is also done. Next one is Q is G's 5. So, see here, if Q is G's 5, I can certainly say that G is a male person. Okay. So, D and G are, uh, you know, sister and brother. So, therefore, Q is the wife of G. So, therefore, Q is a female person. And these two people are husband and wife. So, Q is also done. V is the only son of D. So, see here, V is the only son of D. So, V has to be here. So, son of D is V, only son. And uh, D is not having any more son except V. Okay. There may be daughters, but then uh, there is... I mean, there is only 
one uh, you know son okay so b is a male person and it is said one so m is b's grandfather if m is b's grandfather and b is a male person i can certainly say that so m is i mean b is the uh, grandson of m so therefore i can say that uh, is not b is not the son of d because uh, b is the only son of d so therefore we can come to a conclusion that so b is the son of g and q okay so b has to be here and he is the son here so this is the final arrangement friends i just hope that uh, you like it uh, and i will be giving the link of uh, uh, my you know blog which i am writing with regard to uh, the questions i will be giving i will be posting the questions in the early morning 6, six o'clock and uh, will be posting the solution uh, i mean after that so you just can check it out you just you just can try the questions out there and uh, you just can enjoy it okay so this is all for today thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead before ending up this session i request you to subscribe to the channel like the video share the video with your friends and if you have indoors please let us know in the comments below thank you so much for watching have a good day